a health worker trying to help battle the Ebola outbreak in the Democratic Republic of Congo has been killed by villagers, according to an official report. Part of the population of Busahiro village in the health sector of Mabalako, North Kivu province, attacked the medical team and ransacked their treatment center. Locals are thought to be hostile after workers banned them from holding wakes and funerals for those who died from Ebola to stop it spreading to mourners. A hygiene agent in the team for the prevention and control of infections died of his injuries during his transfer to the hospital, read yesterday's health ministry bulletin. Share this article share it added, the health center in Busahiro was trashed and looted and three village houses were burned down. In a separate incident, the triage center at Bulumba in the Putembo health sector was vandalized overnight Saturday to Sunday. The Ebola outbreak declared in eastern DR Congo last August has killed more than 1,200 people in two provinces at Tori and North Kivu, and new cases have surged in recent weeks. Efforts to tackle the crisis have been hampered both by militia attacks on treatment centers, in which some staff have been killed, and by the hostility of some local people to the medical teams. Since the outbreak began, attacks on health centers have killed four people and wounded dozens more, including patients, according to a tally released by the health ministry last Friday. North Kivu has suffered from massacres blamed mainly on the Ugandan Islamist Rebels of Alliance of Democratic Forces, according to Godef Roy Kaimana, an academic expert with the Pol Institute think tank in provincial capital Goma. In April, a Cameroonian doctor working for the World Health Organization was murdered while taking part in a meeting at a university teaching hospital. Working with the international medics, our local health teams formed after DR Congo's 10th outbreak of the highly contagious and often fatal viral disease. They are made up of villagers trained in measures to battle Ebola. But some locals are hostile to the prevention protocols enforced by international teams, such as the special measures imposed for the burial of Ebola victims. These measures, designed to prevent loved ones being infected, rule out the traditional wakes and funerals. The WHO has accused local politicians of turning people against the health workers. In the meantime, the deaths continue. Since the outbreak started, the cumulative number of cases is 1,912. 1,818 confirmed and 94 probable, the health ministry said Friday. In total, there were 1,277 deaths, 1,183 confirmed and 94 probable, and 496 people healed.